soil is a lifeline. It harbors life and it brings forth life. Those who connect to this living, breathing power beneath our feet have opened up the bountiful food web from microbe to maize cob. In that lies our future as farmers, as mankind. It's called conservation agriculture, but it's just a matter of linking life. And it begins with soil health. Healthy soil is naturally fertile and able to supply sufficient amounts of root support, water, oxygen and nutrients to plants. To do this, the soil needs a continuous supply and buildup of organic matter. Organic matter consists of living organisms such as earthworms, beneficial bacteria and fungi, as well as residues in different stages of decomposition. Basically, organic matter forms part of an important life cycle, originating from an energy source we all have access to. Light energy from the sun is taken in by plants and converted to carbon. Living organisms in the soil feed on this carbon, released through the roots of the plant. In turn, the living organisms release nutrients and build more stable soil carbon. The carbon and nutrients fertilize the soil and are taken up by plants for growth. Once the plants and the living organisms complete their life cycles and die, the process continues. That is if the residue is left undisturbed. At the same time, it helps to protect plants from weeds pests and diseases. It also creates a perfect structure for water conservation. Healthy, well-structured soil allows for quick infiltration of water and acts as a giant moisture-holding sponge. Since climate change is bringing about more extreme weather conditions, soil health has become crucial to sustainable food production and it has a very real impact on the nutritional value of the food crops. So, let's see how we can awaken our soils with conservation agriculture. The three main principles of conservation agriculture are minimum soil disturbance, soil cover, and plant diversity. The first step is to keep any mechanical soil disturbance to the absolute minimum. Plowing disturbs the perfectly balanced ecosystems in the soil and breaks up the natural soil structure, causing wind and water erosion. Just like a hat offers us protection, the soil also needs protection. By keeping the soil covered, you keep it cooler, increase water infiltration and curb erosion. Another key aspect of conservation agriculture is crop diversity from crop rotation to cover crops and intercropping. By planting a variety of species, you can build up and maintain soil health while managing weeds, pests and plant disease. Cover crops give you the added advantage of producing a variety of extra food as well as feed for livestock. You can also get optimal soil coverage for protection while harnessing more sun energy to spur the life cycles in the soil and stimulate growth in the following season. It's all about the circle of life. The bottom line? Through conservation agriculture, you can build healthy soils, which lead to healthy plants, healthy crops, and a healthy income. What you put in is what you get out. For guidelines on how to get going, be sure to watch About Conservation Agriculture, parts two and three. Don't miss out. <music>